This tutorial will explain how to animate the transitions of the lock, the opening of the clip, as well as the movement of the whole object during opening and closing. When starting the process, effective project organization is essential, as we'll be animating groups rather than individual objects. We will create a group for the locking mechanism and also a group for the gate parts. Begin by creating a group for the locking mechanism. Select all objects belonging to it and group them. Give it a new name for clarity. Change the gizmo orientation from global to local. Switching to local orientation enhances control and consistency, especially for objects with specific rotational requirements. Next, group all the movable parts of the gate. Ensure the correct rotation by placing the origin right on the hinge. Open Edit Origin Mode and reposition the origin on the hinge. Exit Origin Mode and test the rotation. Move the locking mechanism group inside the gate group. Since it's inside a group, transforming the parent group will affect all objects and groups within. Now, Let's create two animations to demonstrate how the carabiner gate opens and closes. Open the animate mode. We'll begin with the open animation. Double click on the animation name and modify it. Start by animating the locking mechanism. Reposition the playhead and move the locking mechanism down on the Z axis using the gizmo to create a keyframe. To add another transformation on the same keyframe, position the playhead on the keyframe and apply rotation. Next, animate the entire gate group. Select the gate group and add a rotation. Adjust the starting keyframe to coincide with the opening of the locking mechanism. For a more dynamic animation, insert additional keyframes. This will create a nice swing effect. To adjust the keyframes, move the playhead over the existing keyframes and change the rotation. Include movement for the entire carabiner to enhance the animation's dynamism. Select the carabiner group, reposition the playhead, and add keyframes. Synchronize the carabiner's movement with the gate for a smooth swinging effect. Moving on to the close animation. Duplicate the existing open animation and rename it. Now, reverse the order of the keyframes. Adjust the positions of the keyframes to ensure a smooth transition. With these steps, you've completed the animation process efficiently and effortlessly. 
Stay tuned for the following video, where we will explain how to trigger these animations with the same trigger target.